Hello everyone. Today we're outside of the Hunt Terminal here in Omaha and wanting to visit about uh, safety. Um, as you know, uh, safety first and foremost, extremely important. Um, Hunt has always prided themselves on safety. The last four or five years we've won uh, quite a few safety awards as a matter of fact. But today I want to talk about one of the CSA scores. Um, we have one of the six CSA scores that is trending the wrong direction and we need your help to uh, get that addressed and, and get it going the right way. And the way that you can help us best is by doing quality pre-trip and post-trip inspections. And today I'm gonna have uh, my good friend and uh, the Hunt Safety Director, Heath Richards, go through uh, some uh, items that uh, a DOT inspection might find on a trailer that we would hope that you would find in an in a inspection of your own and get it uh, addressed and repaired right away. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Heath. Welcome everybody. Uh, we thought we had a beautiful day here in Omaha, Nebraska, so we thought we'd take some time and uh, just go over some five basic uh, CSA violations that we tend to see more than most. Um, so if you'll follow through the video with me, we'll just kind of show you the top five that we see here at Hunt that we feel are uh, deemed preventable that we could easily fix if we do those proper inspections like we're trained to. Um, one of them is real easy, just periodic inspections. Um, all of our trailers, it's either on the right or left side of the frame rail for those periodic inspections. Some of you have noticed that Operations has been working closely with you to get those trailers in and get them inspected. Uh, if you get a trailer that you see that it's out of inspection, real simple. Um, you can go to a TA or Loves, walk right in, say you're part of the Creek Carrier Inspection Program. They'll get it in, they'll get it inspected, no questions asked, or get it to a terminal. Uh, but you'll see operations here over the next few months get with everybody so we can ensure that these trailers are getting inspected in a timely manner. Another one that uh, really is kind of uh, a surprise to me is flat or audible air leaks on tires. Um, that's our number three violation. Now yes, tires can blow, we are in the summer months, but if we're doing our proper pre-trips, post-trips and our intermediate uh, inspections when we do our cargo securement checks, we should be able to catch those low those low tires or those uh, ones that have flat or an audible air leak. Um, if you do not have a tire gauge, uh, you can stop at a truck stop and pick one up. You can stop at any one of the AMS locations and check out with the parts department. They'll get you one. Um, but you don't check your oil by beating it with a stick. You actually use the dipstick, same way with a tire. You don't check the tire pressure by beating it with a hammer. You actually need to check it with a PSI gauge. Uh, here at Crete Schaefer Hunt, we run 110 pounds of pressure in our steer tires and 100 pounds on our drives and our trailers. It takes less than five seconds to stick a tire and see what the pressure is. We just put it in there, pull it out, verify that it's 100 to 110 pounds, and it's really that simple. Um, that's going to be their best defense against flat and audible air leaks for tires. Uh, another one that's big is brakes. Um, I know it's sometimes it's tough and challenging to get underneath there and check them brakes, but we should be able to verify brakes when we're pulling load and we're stopping. You know, does it not have the stopping power like it should? Are they hanging up? Um, but if you get underneath there and just visually look and inspect and make sure all the components are there, um, there's not a lot of space between the shoes and the slack adjuster, and if there is, contact breakdown so we can get those uh, fixed right away. Um, air system leaks between the uh, power and the suspension. Um, this trailer here in particular, we picked this one because um, it has a suspension loss in it. Uh, we've had some few overweights here recently and uh, it was simple as the driver's airbags weren't aired up on the trailer um, because one of them may have been capped off. So that shows me right there that we're not giving the inspections uh, quite the attention that we need. And so if that driver would have inspected that trailer, he would have noticed that that airbag was capped off and he could have got it fixed instead of getting uh, inspected roadside and having to get a repaired right out there on the side of the road. So last one is lights. Lights are ones that uh, can go out at any time. There's really no warning, but you know, as, as our regulations require us, you know, we've got to do a securement check within the first 50 miles. Um, every three hours or 150 miles, whichever one comes first, and every duty status change. So you guys should have plenty of time to check your lights on your trailers and your tractors and make sure that they're working. If they're not, 
you know, we've got those DVIR forms, we've got that trailer damage repair form. Send those in, even if it's a drop trailer. If you're dropping this trailer at a customer, and when you do your post trip, you notice there's a light out, send that inspection form in. That goes to breakdown, and then breakdown can get somebody out there to repair it. And then that way, the next driver coming in, he can certify if it has been repaired or not, and there's no downtime for the other driver. I know it's frustrating sometimes to pick up those trailers when they've got uh, issues with them, but we're doing everything we can to ensure that all of us do our part and making sure we're staying safe out on the road and cleaning up those uh, maintenance violations. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Mark. Thank you guys, and uh, stay tuned in the next couple months. We're going to be doing a new pre-trip, post-trip video uh, for drivers, so uh, stay tuned to that, and uh, have a great day, and here you go, Mark. Thank you, Heath. Great information there. I really appreciate it. So again, you can be a big part of the solution. Quality inspections each and every time. Thank you, and have a good rest of your day.